Hello everybody, my name is Bobble Hat Boy and welcome to another Bobble Hat Boy video. In today's video I'm going to be talking all about the Nemesis construction at the Alton Towers Resort. Let's get straight into it, shall we? Since the last episode, not too much has happened, I shan't lie. But the station has continued to be repainted. It is definitely going to be great, as you can see in these pictures here. To be fair, it looks really nice. I do actually very much like it. And what a commenter said on one of the last videos was the fact that on the RAL colour chart lists for red and black, it also had grey on there, which makes sense for the station. So that does make sense. Thank you to that commenter. I would not have thought of that. I didn't even remember that grey was on there, but it is indeed on that list. And yeah, the station does look very nice. The queue has continued to be demolished in the extension area, and the queue by Galactica's lift hill has also been removed. So perhaps that could be coming back. That hasn't been used in forever. So that'll be interesting to see what they're doing over there. Nemesis Subterra. Now, this isn't really to do with Nemesis, but it is quite interesting because there's not actually that much news about Nemesis to go on. So Nemesis Subterra has got its new sign for this year. Obviously, it came back for this year. And this is what it looks like in the dark. And it looks absolutely amazing. So that is some news. I don't know if some of you haven't seen that. I don't know. If you haven't, then what do you think of that sign? I'd love to know. But back to the actual construction of Nemesis. Unlike what I said last week, in the last episode, sorry. Unlike what I said there where I said Nemesis will probably be done tomorrow. It's not because... The track isn't there. Uh, we believe it's rumoured to have been shipped back to Ohio, where it was originally created in the Claremont Steel Fabricators. We believe it's been sent back there because of a fault with the track. No idea what's going on. Obviously, that is the section, the first turn of the ride. So perhaps the, the two bits, the old track and the new track, weren't connecting correctly. I don't know, but it should hopefully be back, and the track will hopefully be finished very soon. Nothing else has really gone on. On the lift hill especially, it's just black now. No no veins in sight yet. Unfortunately, I am awaiting the day where some veins will be going down that lift hill. If they don't, then as I said, it will look really bad. Just an abruptly stopping vein. That'll be a bit bad, but you know. What do you think of that? Finally, though, this news came out just a few hours ago from when I'm recording this, and that is the new Nemesis trains. They look like this, which, to be fair, they look really nice, but they do look a bit too similar to Nemesis Inferno, but they look nice for Nemesis Inferno, so I'll let it be. Um, these are rumoured to not be the... No, these are rumoured to not be new trains, but actually just the original ones refurbished, which would make sense. I don't think... They have lights on the bottom. If they do, then that's really cool, but I don't think they will, because that's just an extra faff to add on. But yeah, you can see the black at the back uh, for the seat where it obviously used to be, but then where the white was on the restraint is now red, which obviously fits in with the wider Nemesis. For a week that hasn't had too much construction, I have somehow managed to pad this out to four minutes. What are you thinking about the new Nemesis trains? What do you think? What are your opinions on the new uh, Lighty Uppies of Terra sign? It's not even that new, it just lights up now. Um, Yeah, what are your opinions on all of that? I would love to know. Please do tell me in the comments below. And hopefully, by the next video, there will be a complete track. I would love to see that when it is. I will hopefully see you all later. Goodbye!